Guys, good morning. Here at the sales office at 7 a.m. A couple thoughts going through my mind and I wanted to make a video about this because I think this is really important. Uh, I've been in sales since, uh, since I was 19. I dropped out of school. Um, I went all in on this, on an industry that wasn't even a thing at the time. Uh, and I was able to clear 100 grand in commissions my very first 12 months on the phone doing this full time, okay? Since then, I've had the opportunity to work with hundreds of closers. I've hired them, trained them, managed them. Uh, we've helped dozens of closers hit that first 100 grand, uh, but I've seen way more fall short, right? And, and what's interesting is in all of that time, I've been able to pick up on, on trends, right? I see the exact differences between people who make their first 100,000 and eventually go on to build amazing careers and the people who fall short and the people who you know don't actually achieve their potential in the space. And it's not what you would think. Like, like it's not your natural talent. It's not your skill set. It's not the offer that you sell on. It, it comes down to a specific set of character traits that top producers have that a majority of people don't. And you know, I think when I was first getting into the space, I had the wrong idea behind what success actually was. And when I really internalized some of the things I'm gonna be sharing with you on today's video, that's when I was really able to accelerate my progress and, and really start making some, some serious cash. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the, the four character traits that I see with every single closer that goes on to make $100,000 or more. And stick around for the last one. The last one is gonna be probably the number one reason why I, a low confidence, insecure 19 year old, was able to go on and, and be a top producer and go on to manage hundreds of closers and, and build a massive sales company, okay? So let's dive right in. Uh, first things first is delayed gratification, okay? You have to be able to push out your goals to a longer time horizon than those around you. The thing is, everybody is looking for a quick result. Everyone wants something tomorrow or next month at the latest. And if they don't get it, they get discouraged and they take their foot off the gas pedal. Especially in the society that we're living in today, everyone is so caught up in what are other people doing? Everyone's getting, getting rich quick. Everyone's stuck in this dopamine, you know, doom scroll nonstop. And uh, they, they have the wrong perspective on their goals, right? The, the thing that you need to do, like, like when I first got into sales, for example, you know, when I took this massive risk, when I dropped out, um, you know, went all in on this space that wasn't even a thing, I made a, I made a decision to spend the next three to five years working on this, right? I made a decision that, hey, if I'm going to work side by side with my partner, Dylan, someone who's already pulling in serious cash, uh, I know I'm not that good yet. But if I do this for the next three to five years, it is impossible that I don't see the result that, 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 I, that I want, right? And most people around me weren't thinking that way. And I had that mindset right off the bat. And that's what was able to get me through a lot of the lows. That was, that's what was able to get me through a lot of the initial learning curve was because I realized that the big goals that I wanted, the kind of lifestyle that I wanted to achieve, the kind of money that I wanted to make, I realized it was gonna take time in the game, you know? Um, the thing is, is your, your, I've noticed that people's true colors show when things get tough, right? When you're in a cold streak, when things aren't going the, the way that you want them to go, that's when people's true colors show, right? And that's when a lot of people quit. That's when a lot of people slow down, right? But again, if you can, instead of having a, you know, expecting to come into sales in your first month to be making a shit ton of money, it's like stretch that out, right? Think, hey, what can I accomplish in my first year of sales if I go all in? What can I accomplish in five years of sales if I go all in? Okay, think on a longer time frame than other people. Okay, broke people are gonna think about, and, and just broke, broke mindset people, right? They're, they're gonna think on a, a next month, maybe next two months, but they're not gonna think on five years, right? If you can think like that, you're gonna set yourself apart. Okay, step number two is a genuine love for the game, right? Uh, when it comes to certain lows that are inevitably gonna be there, right? In sales, there's always gonna be peaks and valleys. There's gonna be months and pay periods where you're up here and your energy is through the roof and every single person that you speak to, you're closing, vibes are good, you're in a great mood. But then there's gonna be times where you fall down, right? And, and you're right here. And every single person that you call, there's something. You're not able to close a deal for whatever reason, right? And it's, it's tough. Like guys, in, in sales, every single dollar that you earn, especially in my field, it is 100% commission. Every single dollar you earn is directly proportionate to the revenue that you bring in, right? It's all results oriented, right? So, so that's what allows you to make a lot of money, but that's also what is gonna you know, bring you down into these lows, right? The only thing that's gonna get you through those lows is a genuine love for the game, okay? What do I mean by that? 
the thing is, is you need to be able to constantly self-improve, right? A lot of people look at training or especially people who don't see the result that they want. They look at training as a chore. They look at it as something that they have to do, not something that they want to do willingly, right? Something that, you know, for me really early on, like I was really interested in sales, like in the psychology of it and, and how it worked, right? Like I, I realized that every single call that I take, especially being inbound leads, people who are asking for my help, it's like I realized if I could get deep enough and I could really figure out what makes somebody tick, I could close every single deal in theory, right? The only thing that would be stopping me from doing that is my skill set. Like when I really realized that, all of a sudden, like during my lunch breaks, I'm watching videos, I'm watching Alex Hermosi, I'm watching Patrick Bet David, you know, in the evenings, I'm, I'm watching other stuff, right? And all of a sudden, education became entertainment. And, and me, someone who came in who wasn't a top producer right off the bat, I was actually at the bottom of the board for my first few months. Um, I was able to, in the long run, outperform other people who were more talented than me because I loved the game more and I wanted to learn more, okay? Uh, so develop a love for the game, right? Fall in love with it. It's, it's going to allow you to make more money. It's going to allow you to have a better time and it's going to allow you to close more people. Okay. Uh, let's keep going here. Number three is a willingness to work more. Okay. Um, listen, I'm not necessarily saying that you need to be working seven days a week, 12 hours a day. Uh, that's actually exactly what I did. Uh, because when, when I was first getting into sales, it was like peak COVID, everything was shut down. I'm like, Hey, like, let's do this. Like, let's go all in. Like, let's, let's sacrifice a little bit. And, and let's really see how far I can take this thing, right? But I'm not, you don't necessarily have to do that. Like I've seen a lot of people who work, you know, five, six days a week, you know, nine to five type of schedule and, and they're able to crush it as well, right? But the, the key is that you're willing to work more than other people, right? When you go home for the day and it's 7 p.m. and you're cooking up some dinner, right? Are you willing? And, and you know, a lead texts you. Are you willing to hop on a call right then and there, right? If you're out at a lunch on a Sunday and, and you have a follow-up who, who asks you a question, like, are you willing to, to answer that question and set up a meeting for the next day, right? I think the, the, one of the biggest qualities, and this isn't really in my list, but it's important and it's relevant to this, uh, the willingness to work more is speed, right? Business rewards speed. Top producers move fast. There's very little delay. Right? If someone wants to talk, if someone wants to get in touch, okay, I'm answering them immediately and we're setting up a time as fast as possible, period. Right? Uh, you have to be willing to work more. You have to be willing to take a call on a weekend, respond to a lead late at night, uh, hop on a call on the spot, no matter what it is that you're doing, drop what you have going on to close a deal. Right? Uh, and a lot of people aren't willing to do that. A lot of people are like, oh, nine to five, you know, that's it. I'm done for the day. I've clocked out. I'll hit this guy up tomorrow, right? Oh, I got a, I got a little trip planned for the weekend. Uh, you know, it's Friday right now. I guess I'll talk to this guy on Tuesday, right? And then the lead goes cold and then you lose the sale. And then now the money that you're making is 20, 30% lower than what it could have been if you just moved a little bit faster, right? Uh, move with speed, be willing to work more than, than other people. Okay. This isn't a nine to five. This isn't clock in clock out. Okay. You're not, you're not paid by how many hours you're, you're sitting in the office. You're paid on the results that you drive. Okay. Uh, moving forward. Number four is radical self-improvement. Okay. This is probably the, the, the number one thing that needs to happen for you to be a top producer in sales period. Okay. Everything that, that we ask our prospects to do, right? We, we challenge our prospects to step up, to step into the highest version of themselves, to invest into themselves, to learn new skills, to level up in life. If you're going to build a career asking people to do that and helping them do that, you need to be doing that at 10 times the level that, that your prospects are doing it. You need to be doing that at 10 times the level. All the other salespeople on your sales team are doing that. And this is something that I realized a long time ago when I was still starting out my first few months in sales, I was super hungry, just dropped out of school. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing this high ticket sales thing. I'm, I'm working alongside some of my best friends and a lot of the guys that I was growing up with, they're at the top of the leaderboard they're driving more results than I am. And you know, it used to piss me off. Like it used to really get under my skin and frustrate me that other, and frustrate me that other people were putting up more numbers than me and I was doing more work than them. You know, and, and the decision that I made, I was like, you know what? Okay, like this sales thing, it's not coming necessarily naturally to me yet. Let me just focus on everything else. Like, let me just dial in every other aspect of my life and see what happens. Started waking up every single day, 6 a.m. on the dot. Alarm hits, I'm up within five minutes, right? Immediately, coffee, hit the gym. 
right? All of a sudden I have my workout done by 7 a.m. before most people are even awake, right? I'm reading a book for half an hour in the morning. I get to the office, I'm, I'm messaging my leads before anybody is even in the office, right? I stay a little bit longer, right? I, I have better relationships with my family and the people around me, right? All of a sudden when I dialed in everything else, that's when my identity changed, right? That's when I started seeing myself in a different light because I knew I was taking actions that nobody else was taking. Okay, when I started seeing myself in a different light and I started holding myself to a different standard, all of a sudden that becomes infectious on the phones. All of a sudden people just feel this energy and this aura when they're with you and they want to work with you. And you know, that's what allowed me to you know, go on and uh, you know, get to the top of the board and, and go on the run that I've been on for the past five years, right? So what, what I want you to do, big uh, takeaway from this video here today, this is what changed my entire sales career. Okay, take, take a Sunday or, or even do it today. S sit down for a couple hours with a piece of paper, okay? And, and write down the version of yourself that's making a million a year. What is that person doing? What do their habits look like? Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in the, the infinite universe theory, the, the fact that there's other versions of yourself out there that made different decisions, that did different things? Okay, if you don't, you're wrong because it's a real thing, okay? Now, n n now that we got that sorted, if there are other versions of yourself that are out there, that means that there are, uh, there's a version of yourself out there that's making a million a year. Okay, cool. What are the decisions that, that that person is making every single day? What are the habits that that person has? What are the non-negotiables that that person follows through on every single day no matter what? What I did is I, I wrote all of that down. I wrote down what all of those habits were and I started doing them right then and there. Me being you know, a broke 19 year old making a couple grand a month, uh, I wrote down all of the habits of the version of myself that was making a million a year and I started acting on them. All of a sudden, I started pulling that version of myself into reality. I started stepping in to the person that I needed to be to get the kind of outcome that I wanted. And what do you know? I started seeing the results. I started growing more and more, right? Um, the first step that you want to do uh, is, okay, you're looking at your habits of all of the things that the best version of yourself is doing. Start with subtracting, okay? This is probably the biggest ROI thing that a majority of people can do, okay? Like, are you drinking every day? Like, are you smoking weed every day? Are you, are you playing video games, right? Shit like that, we all know that they don't get us better, they don't make us more money, but everyone is fucking doing that shit. Everyone is intentionally, like, holding themselves back right? Cut all that out, right? If you truly want to be great, you truly want to do big things, subtract the things that are holding you back. That's going to have the biggest ROI on, you know, your self-improvement, okay? Once you've done that, start adding in different things that are going to get, get, get you to the next level. Daily gym routine, right? Six days a week, non-negotiable, right? Reading books constantly, okay? Turning education into your new form of entertainment, Okay, whether that's getting courses, self-investing, going out to masterminds, putting yourself in different circles, right? Um, the, the thing is, what, what stops beginners from winning, it has nothing to do with strategy, it has nothing to do with skill set, and everything to do with the fact that, you know, in their head, they see themselves as a loser that is destined to fail, period. Everyone is held back by their own, you know, self-identity and the way that they see themselves. And when you subtract all the bullshit from your life, when you cut off the negative relationships and all of the vices and all of the crap that's holding you back, and you start adding in the things that the version of yourself that's making a million a year are doing, when you do that, your identity and the way that you see yourself completely shifts. And then now your actions change and the way that you perform changes and all of a sudden your results change. Okay, I was able to figure this out really quickly and that's why I was able to see results really quickly. It takes some people years to figure this out. It takes some people a couple minutes to figure this out. Okay, and I really wanted to make this video just speaking to the younger version of myself, the version of myself just starting out in sales because I know that it would have saved me so much time. It would have made me a lot of money. So uh, listen, guys, take action on this right away. Um, you know, start, uh, start self-improving, start following through on some of these things. Okay, j just to recap here, delay gratification. Okay, expand your timeline for when you want the result. Time is gonna go by regardless. Five years is gonna go by regardless. Okay, what needs to happen in those five years for you to be in the position that you wanna be in? Two is develop a love for the game, right? That's something that you can develop. That's something that you can nurture, okay? So fall in love with it more. Learn more about it, right? Start researching the, the greats and the experts and the people who have come before you because all of the answers that you need to get the results that you want, people have already figured them out. And all you have to do is just Google search and look for it, right? 
Uh, be willing to work more, right? Be willing to outwork other people. That means making certain sacrifices, right? But you got to ask yourself, how bad do you want it? You know, uh, otherwise, like if you're not willing to take a call at 8 p.m., if you're not willing to take a call on a Saturday, Sunday, when you're out doing your thing, if you're not willing to step into another room and, and close a quick deal, go work a fucking nine to five. Go get paid by the hour and go get a salary job, right? If you want freedom, sacrifices need to be made, okay? And finally is a self-improvement side of things. Dial in every other aspect of your life that is within your control, right? Make a decision today to completely shift what you're gonna be doing moving forward, write it out with a pen and paper and make a commitment to never go back on that commitment you made to yourself, okay? Do all of that shit and uh, drop a comment here a year from now when you're, when you're making serious fucking cash. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Happy Friday or whatever day it is that you're watching this video. Let's crush it and I'll see you on the next one.